In the last session, we learned how to do pivoting using the pivoting node in Nine. Now, as we move towards the fag end of this course, there are a few utilities of Nine which we need to learn. One of the utilities is to be able to export this project or this workflow as it is called in Nine to a hard disk and then to be able to share it with other people so that they in turn can import it in Nine and use it. So let's see how we can export a workflow. So we need to go to file on the top left hand corner here, click on it and it gives you an option to export Nine workflow. Now select the workflow to export. So we go to our directory here and let's say we want to export sales exercise. We click on it and click on OK. Then where do we want to put it? Let's say we want to put it on desktop and let's call it sales exercise and let's save it. The file name gets saved in these two formats dot k and wf being the more popular let's just save it now there's an option which set says reset workflows before export what it will do is it will break the link pages to the data so no data sets will get exported so if you want to export in a light manner you can keep this option checked if you uncheck this the data sets also will get exported the data sets which are created within nine not the data sets which are referenced in the first section which is by reading in the files so all files which have been generated in nine format will be exported if we uncheck this option so let's see how this works now let's say finish save changes yes and let's export this now this has been exported and it's been saved in the desktop folder it's called sales exercise dot this what i'll do is i change this name so that i'm able to import it in a different with a different name so let's just call it sales exercise one under one underscore sales underscore one underscore exercise and we will import this same workflow in nine within yoda learning workgroup so let's again go to file Let's go to import nine workflow. Let's select the file. This is sales underscore one underscore exercise. We'll select this and let's do next. We can call it sales exercise, sales exercise underscore import and finish. Now we see that sales underscore import has been imported and this is the data set. So all of the data is present in this workflow which we have imported. We've basically exported sales exercise to the desktop and imported it back with a different name. We have not used the same name otherwise there would have been a conflict. So thus we have learned how to import and export workflows or projects in, in this session.